This is pretty crazy. Final Cut Pro 11. Don't ask about the background. I got another reaction coming out soon and I kind of talk about it. But Final Cut just released a video announcing their new Final Cut Pro 11 update. And there's a lot of new stuff in it that I want to watch this video in case you haven't seen it and check out some of the new features that are AI driven or transcribed to captions and different rotoscoping. It's pretty insane. All right, so we got it loaded up here. Final Cut Pro 11, Apple Pro apps. Let's check it out. All right, that's pretty insane. If you don't already know, I'm actually excited about this because if you don't already know, when they implemented the auto tracking in Final Cut, they made it very seamless to work with because Final Cut is very clean and put together as far as a software and working with it. So the fact that they have rotoscope tracking like this now is going to be pretty insane and efficient from what I'm seeing here, that you can just drag it over different subjects or select whatever you want and mask that out. It's pretty insane. Holy, yo, even the hair, it kind of. I'm not trying to like overhype this, but that's pretty impressive when it comes to, and I've said it in the past, I wonder how it does with glasses because whenever you try to mask with glasses on, it's a little bit difficult because it's clear, obviously. From what it does with the hair here, you can see it kind of feathers it on the edges so it looks natural and not cut. And I wonder if that's a certain setting that you're able to adjust yourself when it comes to feathering and stuff like that. Henry Ford famously said... Henry Ford famously said that auto racing started as... Okay. All right, so the only thing about that whole transcribed captions thing, situation that's going on there is I want it to be able to be regular titles that you can animate yourself. That's the only thing, but this is the first version that they're doing of this update that might add that later on where you can convert it to a title and you might be able to, you know, using different methods. But yeah, that's the, that's the only thing about this that was kind of overhyped in a sense for transcribed captions. I want them to add that because there's a lot of different editors that, that have that feature. And with what they're doing here, I mean, you're, you're already transcribing the, the words. So why not make it to where you can, it could be a title. That's the only thing about that, that I'm a little bit, that's a little bit underwhelming when it comes to the overall update. But this other stuff is pretty sick. Okay. Wait, what was that? All right. So you can export to for Apple Vision Pro now. It's pretty interesting. I see I've seen this. Yeah, that's pretty sick now that or very efficient now that you can kind of just move the layers up and down from the timeline if you'd like. And I think that's uh, very efficient and very clean as far as your workflow when it comes to Final Cut itself. <laughs> Yeah, that will also clean it up as well. Hold on, I don't know what's going on here. But as you can see, hide clips right here. The fact that you're able to hide clips and so it's not taking up a bunch of space in your overall, you know, clips that are imported. So you can kind of clean it up a little bit. Like let's say you have B-roll or some 
stuff, clips that you don't necessarily want to delete, but you just don't want to look at it because you know you're not going to be using it. That definitely helps clean that up. It makes the workflow. That's one of the main things about Final Cut that I like personally is the workflow is very clean and efficient. It helps you be creative about, you know, thinking about the project itself instead of trying to work your way around a certain thing in the software. And so your mind's not stuck on that. Your mind's stuck on being creative with what you're making primarily in the project. Now, I'm not saying it can't be that way for other softwares, but for me personally, that's how I feel Final Cut has progressed in. All right, that was it. That was the whole video. Now, I know I don't usually, uh, I don't usually post out of the blue like this, but I figured I would right now because this just dropped last night and this is definitely something Final Cut users at least have been anticipating for for a little bit now. You know, with the whole captions, the rotoscope and all that stuff. I know a lot of you use different softwares like DaVinci or Premiere Pro or even CapCut. And so drop a comment below if this update is going to make you want to even think about switching or moving towards Final Cut. For a little bit, it did seem like they were forgetting about Final Cut, not really doing much with it, but this update definitely added quite a bit more features that us Final Cut users primarily are very excited about. And yeah, I mean, overall, I enjoy the update. I haven't, there's a bunch of other small adjustments, smaller settings and stuff like that, that I'll have to jump into and check out. With everything they added, I definitely enjoy it. And the main thing is that I hope sometime in the future, they'll change it to where you can transcribe captions into titles. So you're able to adjust it a little bit more. And I hope they continue on that path and progress a lot more and improve that setting itself. Because that's with shorts and reels on YouTube, TikTok, you know, Instagram, that's definitely a crucial setting and feature that an editor needs when making that type of stuff. And I think Final Cut could most definitely make it very efficient when building that out with what they've done with other effects and, and features in the past as well. Like I mentioned earlier, the tracking and what we saw here with the rotoscope. So there are a lot more smaller settings and there's more in-depth videos of how to use this stuff. And I'll link some in the description that you can go click on other YouTubers, you know, breaking down this, this update in detail and they do a pretty good job at it. So you can go and click on that. With that being said, I'll see you at the next edit.